from. We are here at the Gospel Reformation Network in Greenville, South Carolina. We're having a conference here at Second Church, and we're thrilled to have our friend Ligon Duncan back in his home church. Rick, it's great to be with you. Now, the, the viewers can't tell that we're actually in your brother Mel's office. Mel's our executive elder here. He's our church administrator. And what was whose office was this when you were a boy in this church? This whole area of the church has been expanded and reconfigured mm -hmm. since I was here. We had the gymnasium was here, and we had some classrooms over here. But this office area okay. has been totally refurbished and expanded since the time I was here. So I'm not even sure this room existed when I was a, a member here. Now, is it? Do you are you anti-change in your no, boy I mean, church? It, 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 it thrills me to see how well this church is doing, how it's thriving. God has blessed your ministry, your blessing to my family. And um, I know Paul Settle just loves to see this church doing so well. I have to say it's a real joy to me to have a former minister move back into town and want to come to our church. Right. And when he got his Doctor of Divinity at Westminster Seminary in the spring, his title was Men's Ministry Coordinator, Second Presbyterian That's Church. That's just beautiful. Humbly serving yeah. the church. Yeah. And so typical of Paul. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. Now, you've been busy, and uh, I think you were in South Africa recently for yeah. uh, Together for the Gospel. Of yeah, Peter. they Tell had invited it. some of the T4G guys to come over. John Piper couldn't come. Al Mohler came, uh, couldn't come. And so Kevin DeYoung and Mark and CJ and I went over along with some of Mark's guys. You know, Mark always has guys along with him. His posse. And, uh, and boy, they, they really put us to work. We were there for about 10 days. I spoke about 23 times. Is that right? And uh, it, mostly pastors. And uh, it was very, very encouraging. Great, great. Yeah, I like when I'm traveling overseas, I like to work. I'll be in oh, Peru I did this week. In fact, yeah, and, I, and, and I told them, I said, that's when I, I'm not going there. And they kept wanting to find things to take us to do. And I said, I didn't come here to go do stuff. I came here to work for you, so put us to work. So. Now, you're also back in a chaired professorship at RTS. Right. Jackson. For just over a year now, I've been back on the, the permanent faculty serving as the Johnny Richards professor of systematic and historical theology and that's very special to me because Johnny Richards is my cousin I and my that. father published Johnny Richards memoirs about his ministry and the Presbyterian I Church had, in America. And I, I should have known I, it, but I, grew I did not know up it. knowing John and, and oh, Kitty Richards. Really? And so Derek, it's also special because Derek Thomas was the first Johnny Richards professor at RTS. And then when he went to First Pres Columbia, he vacated that chair and they called me back in and, nice. and gave me that chair. So lots of special personal yeah. connections. And you were just at First Pres Columbia for the Thornwell. Lectures. I was. You know, they do all summer long, they do Thornwell lectures, and this year they've chosen the theme of the Ten Commandments, and they're bringing in different people each week to give lectures on each of the commandments, and I'm not sure what they're going to do with that. They may just produce audio, or they may do something else with it, but I got to lecture on the Third Commandment during the Sunday school hour, and then to preach on Sunday morning at the two morning services, so that was great.